haven't recorded in a very long time, which I think it has been over a week. Um, for those who don't know, I did get sick. I thought it was a cold, ended up being bronchitis. So long story short, I'm on antibiotic and I feel better. Hopefully, you know, I don't get sick again for a very long time. I hate getting sick. Anyway, moving on. Um, as you can see, this is very different. Like, okay, what is this? And okay, first of all, this is the crappiest setup ever, but I thought it was clean and simple and it got the point across. And what I'm trying to lead up to is, mm, excuse me, is someone asked if I could do a guide on character creation. And I said, sure. Um, okay, keep in mind, I've never made a guide before, so please bear with me. Um, I thought this was the easiest way to show you what I use and what I don't use, but you, you know, you can use it. It's not like you have to use my list, which is on the left. And then you, it's not like you have to use the stuff on the right that I recommend. You know, you could use whatever you want. This is just how I create my characters and what I use. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Um, after I do go over this stuff, I will go into character creation in Skyrim and I'll kind of just show you what I do, like the settings I use, the sliders. I don't think I'll make an actual new character, but I'll get the point across. So let's just uh, jump right in. Thank you, Thunder. Okay, I'll be right back. Everyone uses this by now. Um, instead of the crappy vanilla system, um, you can either use, I only know of these two, Race Menu or ECE, which is Enhanced Character Edit. I used to use ECE when I first started, but because of all the options you get with Race Menu, I recommend that more. Um, also, it will tie in later when I talk about uh, overlays, so I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But so Race Menu is definitely my recommendation. Uh, it's what I use. I think it is, I don't know, I like it better. I will say, I think ECE gives you an easier way to create, quote, attractive characters. Um, now, everyone finds their own characters attractive. You know, everyone has their own standard of beauty. So, I just feel like Enhanced Character Edit gives you a bigger push to create something to your liking. I'm not saying race menu isn't, it's, you know, like you can't create something beautiful with it, but I just feel like you need to just take extra steps. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just bad. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so you could use either or. I definitely though recommend using one of them. Don't just go vanilla. Okay, so with that being said, along with race menu, and I think this can work with ECE, but I didn't put it on that side, I have a mod called Inhabitants of Skyrim and their character presets. Now, they're not just regular presets you can download by a random user on Nexus. These actually replace the presets of the races, of the vanilla races, so you won't be, you know, modeling your character off a generic vanilla Skyrim character, if that makes sense. So you at least get a push to creating an attractive character because you start with an attractive character, if that makes sense. So I really recommend that mod. And that one's on Nexus, Race Menu's on Nexus, and ECE is on Nexus, but I'm sure everyone knew that by now. Okay, so moving on, you're going to need a nice body. Now, I am using a custom body at the moment. Um, I felt like it gives me a little originality because I cannot mod for crap, uh, which is sad. I wish I could. I'm sure I could learn, but... I don't know. So I use my own custom body. Um, before that though, I did use the seven base body replacer because I just feel it, it just fit what I wanted 
the most, if that makes sense. Um, if you do go on there, there are naked people, so please just keep that in mind if you've never used a body replacer. Usually the skins in the bodies, you will see naked Skyrim characters on the Nexus pages, so just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I just like seven base. I felt it fit what I wanted the best with my characters. Alternatively, you can use CBBE, UNP, or UNPB. They're, those are not the only ones available. There are many, many others. These are just the four that I know are, I think are the most popular. I don't know. These are the four that I see everywhere. That's what I recommend is seven base. So yeah. Okay, moving on. If they if something is not on Nexus, I will say you have to Google it. I might have already said that at the beginning, but I don't know. I can't remember. So just to clarify, if it's not from Nexus, I will let you know. So moving on to skin. The one I have been using for a while now, and it is my favorite, is Pure Skin Texture. Um, it is a lot like fair skin complexion, I feel, but I still just get a little more oomph from it. I don't even know. That doesn't even make sense. I don't know. I feel like fair skin complexion makes my characters look too doll-like, like they're too clean. They have no like pores on them, whereas pure skin, I still see like they, their skin still looks like skin. I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not trying to say fair skin complexion isn't realistic because it definitely can be, but the way I like my style of characters to look, I feel like pure skin is a good middle ground from being super doll-like to super realistic. It's like right in the middle for me. So that's why I like pure skin. Um, if that isn't your thing, and obviously if you don't like pure skin, maybe you, you probably wouldn't like fair skin complexion. I also really like real girls. Um, that one is definitely realistic, real girls. Uh, I really like that one. I just like to change up my characters once in a while because I do get bored, but Real Girls is definitely a good recommendation. Um, I forgot it on here, but I know a lot of people use, I think it's SG Female Textures. Uh, that one's very popular, and I used to use that one a long time ago, but since then I've moved on. So, Pure Skin is definitely my favorite. It's what I use. It is what I would recommend. Also, I don't even know what you would call it. Like, it comes with a face tint mask thing where, you know, you get better looking makeup. And I have to say, whatever they did to the lips is amazing. They make the lips look amazing with, like, the lipstick. Like, if you have your character wearing lipstick. Ugh. It just looks amazing. So pure skin, definitely the way to go. All right, moving on to uh, eyes. The one that I used to use when I first started were the eyes of beauty, but I felt like there wasn't enough brown eyes. At least maybe I missed them. I don't know. I just, I felt like I couldn't find a, enough brown so I kind of moved on to True Eyes. They have a great selection. I just, once again, like to change up my characters. So right now, my favorite, and I love them. I am so sorry if I pronounce this name wrong, but Lynn's, Lynn's Human Eyes are amazing. Not only are there a lot of colors to choose from, the eyelashes are perfect. They're nice and dark and long, and you can actually see them. So, literally the best eyes I have ever used. So, definitely recommend those. Another eye that I have recently just started using, and I'm sorry if I butcher this name too, are Eyes of Aber? Aber? 
a bear. I'm so sorry. Those are very beautiful too. They have very unique styles to them. So, you know, it'll definitely make your character stand out. Just the eyes are so cool. Like, I don't even know how to explain them. Like, you have to look them, you have to look at them yourself. But those two are my recommendations. Ones that I will always recommend Never go back to Apache if you have the option. Oh, I always use KS hairdos. Literally the only hair mod you need. I use the Renewal and then I also use the HDT one just sometimes to play it up. Um, it's just the best hair mod I've used. Literally, you do not need Apache. Now, a lot of people probably know this. Maybe some don't. A lot of these hairs that are ported, well, that are in, that are ported to Skyrim are from The Sims. Now, I know I see a lot of people complain in the comments on Nexus that these hairs look too modern and too clean. Well, they came from The Sims, so that is why they look like they do. I personally love it. Like, ugh, makes my characters look amazing. But, no, no, I don't think KS hairdos. I know some of them they have made from scratch. Uh, so props to them, honestly. But a lot of hairs that are in both Apache and KS hairdos came from The Sims. So that is one reason they look so beautiful and not like they came from Skyrim. You could still make it work, though. I mean, I do, and I love it. But recommend KS hairdos, but if you need, I don't know, I don't even know why you would still use Apache. I guess if you need to have an NPC overhaul with the Apache hair, I guess you need that, but I still recommend KS hairdos. So if you can cut out some things in your load order, I will get rid of Apache just because, I don't know, I don't think you need it anymore. But okay, Moving on to eyebrows, I use, once again, I'm so sorry if I butcher this, uh, I always just said Maven, so I'm assuming it's Maven, like, that, that's what I would say in my head, so Maven's eyebrows, her, I'm assuming it's a her, I'm so sorry if you are a male, uh, their, I'll say their, their eyebrows are gorgeous, I'm trying to convert all my girl characters to these eyebrows just so then I can have my brow section be not so big. So these eyebrows are wonderful. I think there are two options. You can have one that are just black depending like so they won't change based on your hair color like you choose for your character or the color will match whatever color your hair is. So that's pretty cool really recommend those eyebrows. If those aren't your thing, there are tons of other ones out there. For example, brows. Uh, I think these replace vanilla eyebrows and make them better. And then there's true brows and SG female eyebrows, which I used to use a long time ago. I used to use all these, but now I'm trying to convert to this one. All right, moving on, and this is what I was talking about, why race menu will, will come in handy um, for the overlays. So, for example, war paint. If you wanted to have a bunch of war paint on at a time, like lay them over one another, you could do that with race menu. There's, you know, options and some of the categories. You could just layer war paint over war paint. Um, the war paint I recommend is literally, literally, like I have a ton right here. <laughs> so this one's on Nexus. This one is on Nexus. Here, let me highlight them. Nexus. Okay, that looked terrible. Battle Harn War Paints are on Nexus. Raven's War Paint is on Nexus. The Neath, the Neath, I'm so sorry. The uh, Neath Team War Paint set is on Nexus. Oh, 
I do not know how to pronounce her name. I'm so sorry. I always just said Taryn Soul. <laughs> it's probably not how you say it. You know, you just say stuff so fast in your head. You don't actually say it out loud. Her war paint. Excuse me. I'm having such a hard time talking today. Both her war paints, these right here. If I could get over. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, whatever. These two. This one and this one you no, you will need to google so the first one is Taryn Tyron maybe it's Tyron oh my god I didn't even think about that Tyron Taryn soul layered war paints and then the second one is Tyron Taryn soul on the spot paints these two love them this layered war paints actually has a war paint that I've been looking for for like two years. I could never find it and I just found it and I'm in love and I think my character Cassandra's wearing it right now. But yeah, these war paints, I use something from all of them. You know, I love layering war paints just so you can kind of create your own unique look. So definitely recommend war paints along with race menu. All right, um, moving on to, oh, so this is technically another overlay. You can get tattoos. So I don't know. You could just, that's the tattoo mod I use, which is on Nexus. Um, yeah, it just works the same as war paint. You know, you put it on in like as an overlay and you can mix and match depending on what it, they have available so that I recommend for tattoos I th yeah okay moving on um oh okay yeah no I'm not there yet okay moving on um this is the mod I use for freckles freckle mania it is perfect literally you can have uh i think there are sections for the freckles in on the face on the torso the arms the hands the legs the feet you can literally cover your character head to toe in freckles so it's perfect uh so that's the freckle mod now this next mod is for scars now, Nazar, Nezar, hopefully that's right. He, this is on his Tumblr. So once again, just search it on Google. This is not a Nexus. This by far is some of the best. Well, I shouldn't say some, probably one of the only ones I've used. Uh, I don't use dirt on any of my characters, but the scars, I love his scars because they really do stand out. So excuse me jesus okay his scars i just they're great so you have to search this one also on google uh if for alternative if you don't want to do that there are on nexus northborn scars which are very nice too but since both of these the Nizar's HD Durton scars and Northborn scars. Both of those are replacers, so they're not going to work with each other. At least, I don't think so. So, you know, choose either or, I guess. Now, last but not least, you need a good E and B. I take pictures with my characters, so I need a good E and B for the stuff. Can it stop thundering, please? My recommendation will always be Snapdragon Prime. I love Snapdragon. If Snapdragon isn't your thing, it, if it doesn't run well on your computer, if you just don't like it, that's fine. You can always try all the hundreds of other EMBs on Nexus. Um, there's tons. You don't have to go by these three recommendations you see right here. Just pick one that works well with your setup and makes your game look good, makes your characters look good. 
Uh, the other two recommendations, though, I do have right here are Bleak EMB and First Seed EMB. Bleak makes your game look bleak. Uh, it's just really, I think it's really nice. It's, it's a good change from really vibrant EMBs out there. Um, in First Seed, I just, I like the finish it would give to my pictures, if that makes any sense. So I really liked both those EMBs. I feel like Snapdragon Prime, though, gives me so many options. I just cannot pass it up from using it. So that one is my number one favorite. But I don't know if I said this, but all these recommendations both list my mods I have used on the left and then other ones that you can use on the right. We're going to go jump into Skyrim and actually play around with the character. Before I do that, I do want to clarify the reason I made these two text boxes, one with the mods I used and then the one on the right with recommended instead of actually showing you the mod pages is because some of these mods have naked people on them. So I didn't want to show you some and then not show you others. I just thought this was a more clean cut way so you could actually see, uh, well, you're still not seeing what they actually are, but it just gives you a nice list of what I use and then what I recommend. So let's not waste any more time. I will meet you in Skyrim. All right, we are in here. Um, okay, as you can see already, my character looks pretty good. This is one of the results from the presets. You know, as you can see here, hold on. I wonder if that's going to change. Oh no, okay. So see, you get already a nice selection to start with. And yeah, ooh, right here. Oh my God, look at that jaw. Damn. Okay, we're, you know what? We're gonna start with her. So her chin is already amazing. Um, okay, so I kind of forgot one thing that is huge, especially with taking pictures, poses. I have a lot of poses. I have halo I have Halo's Poser, I have, uh, is this it? Goma Paro Paro Poses? I think I have this one. Is this moving? Yep. All right, I have this one. Um, I have other ones, and I don't remember which ones they are. That's really sad. Uh, poses are everything. Not only are poses the main happiness of picture taking, um, they're very nice in character creation because you can pose your character and they will not move, especially if you have like an idol where they do stuff when they're trying to stand still. Okay, normally I like to pick a hairstyle that's out of her face. This is pretty much out of her face, but I want like a good hairstyle. So that one's okay. Whoa. How about, whoa. Nope. Okay. Let's work with this one. Okay. I like to go in order. So we have her race. We have her body. As you can see, a hundred weight Hold a hundred weight, zero weight, a hundred for me. Um, you could change your skin. I really like how she looks. Be able to make her a little more tan. The head section. So right here, complexion. Um, that's okay. We're just gonna I always leave this at zero. Don't do dirt. Here you could put scars on. Um so see, very nice looking scars. These are Nizar's scars. 
I'm pretty sure. They should be his because that's all I have installed. So see, they're very nice. Maybe that looks better. Maybe not. Okay. These are very nice. Um, why don't we give her... I don't know. Should we give her scars? That one's kind of cool. We'll give her that one. Okay. You can give war paint here, but I will. I would hold off on that just for now. I go... I do it in a different category. So there's a bunch of stuff here I don't even mess with. Nope. Um, mouth part. I don't even know what that did. A bunch of stuff I don't mess with. Okay, this is where it gets fun. Now, this is, this is probably not a trick and I'm probably about to tell you something that isn't true, but I still like to believe it's true. As you can see here, you get like a bunch of nose types. Uh, I don't really like these nose types. There's only a couple I like and they're toward the beginning. Like that's probably the only one that I can work with. Uh, a lot of these nose types look bizarre to me. Um, yeah, I can't work with a lot of these. So instead of working, like what is this? Come on. Like, what? Who's going to pick this? I don't know. So instead of working with the snowest type, if you go down here with race menu, uh, you'll see a nose type too. Now, I don't know if this is, if it's just a coincidence, but I used enhanced character edit before race menu. And I remember the features featured in ECE. A lot of these noses look like the ones that were in Enhanced Character Edit. So I like to just use these noses instead of the ones on top. So this nose is very cute. My favorite nose is, I like this nose a lot. This is one of my favorite noses. A lot of the good noses See, look how much better these look. I don't know. Oh, look at that nose. Ooh, look at that one. These are where a lot of the good noses are, right here. In the back. Uh, excuse that thunder if you hear it. Rude. Oh, we're going to give her nose 28. Look how good that looks. So with that being said, um, oh, oh my God, I totally forgot about this. Oh, hopefully you're still watching and didn't already exit the video because I kind of just gave you false information. Pure skin textures I use, yes. I am experimenting at the moment though. And once again, apologize if I butcher this name, but... <sighs> I don't even want to say because it it's embarrassing. The the one the guy who makes very beautiful uh, replacers like is it is it Bijin like War Maidens, Bijin War Maidens. I don't know. I am so sorry. It's like B I J I N, and he made the War Maidens, the NPCs, and then the marriageable ones I think I, I don't he has three of them then he's got like Serana replacer uh I am experimenting and I took the textures from one of those mods and put them in my game literally make all my characters look like angels they look amazing so that skin that's my number one recommendation right there uh but I kind of have that skin overlaid with pure skin so they're kind of like mixing if that makes sense so that's my recommendation right there those two is a mixture put pure skin in first and then take bitchin bijin i'm so sorry take those skin textures if you want i mean i'm experimenting with those hopefully i can hopefully i won't get in trouble because they're gorgeous 
Uh, so that's why she probably looks 10 times more amazing than she would. So we're going to go with this nose. Honestly, looks perfect the way it is, but we won't. Ooh, look at that orc nose. Ew. No, it's okay. Not on her. Um, so we're going to go in and kind of like mess with it a little bit. So we could change the height. I kind of like long noses. Don't know why. Maybe because I don't have a long nose. Long as in like this way. You know, my nose is kind of like, you know, I don't even know. I'm going to make myself look like an alien. Um, so we can make it longer. I feel like that kind of distorts the face. So I like to keep that one at zero. Okay, this is where it gets fun when you work with the nose. So we could change this width, make that bigger, make that smaller, make it a little bit bigger, change the height. That's good. Ooh, the depth. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. Nose width. That looks good. Nose bridge depth. Oh, there we go. That fixes it. That looks good. All right, now the slope of the tip. Whoa. Uh, where was I? Oh. I like that it's zero. I like it like that. Wider, smaller. I'm going to do point one. Oh no, I still need the front. So basically, you just work with what looks good to you. Um, I think she looks pretty good so far. I like how I'm going through every slider. Here I am at the beginning. I'll just give you like a brief look at what I do. Makes a whole character. Whoa. Okay, we're going to go with that. Make it a little shorter. But, okay, these eyebrows are really bothering me. Going to Mavens. Those look good for now. That's the only thing. They're a little too blonde for me. So, but that's okay. I could fix that. Where am I going? My eyes? I think so. Okay, so I need to take off all her makeup. Okay. Oh, these are nice. Ooh, those are nice too. These are nice. I like these. She looks so realistic. Ooh, 25 or was it 21? 21, 25, 21, 25, 21, 25, shit. We're going to go 21. Okay, so to fix the issue of now being super low, you could just like move. Oh, that still kind of looks like shit. Okay, I like to just ignore it truthfully so we're we're gonna fix this you can also like mix okay never mind you cannot mix all right hold it up we're uh, gonna try something instead so see three and four they just look too much unsymmetrical to me so I can't use those my foot is asleep Ooh, those are nice those are nice. I wonder if they'll have the same eyes. I doubt it. Okay, true. Half these eyes are the same. 
But you know what? We're going to go with the ones that were down here, and I'll make them work. Okay. So, eye color, as you can see, oh, I had these two, the Mikan. I don't really use those anymore, though. Okay, so here are Lynn's eyes, and then I think Isa Aber are up here. Uh, I'm going to give her a pair of Lynn's eyes, just because they're a little more adorable. Oh, I'm not in there anymore. Okay, so purple, green, gray. I don't know what she'll... I think she would benefit from a blue. Or a brown. Oh, those are very cute. Whoa. Hmm. Okay, so we're going with that. I with can make a further part closer together. I like them at point two. I depth. Make them, there we go. That looks much better. Just kidding, not from head on. We're gonna go 0.4 in, okay? Uh, eyeliner color. Yes, totally. Um, just kidding, not yet. What am I doing? This isn't what I'm doing. Okay, this is where I get creative-ish. So, eyelid open. You can make them really big, make them really tiny. Um, for her, I kind of want them to get a little tinier. There we go. I angle. You can make them droopy up more. I kind of liked them a little bit sad. Just a little bit sad. Eyelash length, very important. That looks good. That was that is one of the most important features. Uh, iris size, this is beautiful. Could give her really big irises, make them really tiny. Uh, we're I kind of feel like she needs big ones, so we're gonna do that. Eye tilt a little different than eye angle, so you can make it a little more. A little bit more control that looks good right there lower eyelid height whoa whoa so I like to go that looks good and then upper eyelid height do I like to close I like to close them usually a little bit but okay that looks good Okay, eyelid height. We're going to leave it at zero. And then, last but not least, eye size, the actual size of the eyes. That looks good. Um, brows, I gave her these. You can't really tell. Would she benefit from having... Oh, yes. You know what she kind of looks like? She looks like Natalie Portman. Holy shit. Am I just... Maybe maybe she doesn't. I like her with brown hair, though. Ooh. Oh, my God. I don't even have an EMB on. Excuse me one second. <laughs> uh, oh, I need to go into camera. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh. Huh. Why do I have custom three on? No. Ooh, sassy. I do have, as you can see, I have way too many eyebrows. That's why I want to tone this down. Whoa. Did you see those ones? Wow. Oh, Lord. So, oh. Uh, which ones? I gave her these ones, 163. She looks really good with this. Oh, God. She looks good with those. Hmm. She looks good with everything. Ooh, wait, I like these. 
Whoa. Excuse that weird noise if you heard it. Wait, I like those too. Okay. I think we're still gonna go with these ones. Um, I like these straight eyebrows. I don't think I'm gonna change it, but maybe I will. Just kidding. Holy crap. What am I doing? Can make them higher. Can make them archier. Don't want to though. Maybe just like a tad. I could make them slopier. But I don't want to. Wow. She looks awesome. Okay, so for the mouth, there are two options as well you could choose from. Here's mouth shape, and then I think there is a mouth, mouth shape type, mouth type two. Uh, I really like the way she looks though. Um, I normally don't go with these. You know what, I'm gonna go with one. My favorite lip by far is number 26, right here. Or 27 is nice. But this one right here, oh, one second. This one right here, I love it. And then, you know, you work with it. But, you know, you just gotta get it to work. Oh, look how cute these are. I like them, I like them that length. I usually make them smaller as if I could find it. So mouth width, I make it a little like that. I make it a little bit tinier. In her case though, I didn't like that. <laughs> Maybe I did. I don't know what I like anymore. That looks good. Okay. Does it look good? Does it look good? I need to like stand back here. No, it doesn't look good. Okay. Let, let's just do point one then. How about that? We'll meet in the middle. Lip thickness, you can make them thicker, you can make them thinner. I usually do thicker. Uh, you could change the height even more. I actually like it like that. Lower lip height, make that even thicker. Yes. That looks good. Let me see how this looks if I were to go let me see how this looks if I were to go with 26. Oh, yes. Okay, I need to fix that though. I love these lips. Too many of my characters use these lips though. But I could, I, it's okay, I could have one more, right? I have to give these to her. I'm so sorry. Probably like, oh my god. Uh, with this though, no, I, hmm. She kind of looks nicer with thinner lips. Meet in the middle. Meet in the middle at zero. That looks good. Hair. Okay. We, we have hair, we could make her blonde again. I'm not feeling the blonde anymore. I like her a brunette. <gasps> what is this? What? What? Holy shit. It's so cute. I'm gonna have to give that to her. 130? You know what? I'm gonna give that to her. In fact, we might take the scars off. Shit. She kind of looked good with the scars. Like, she's like innocent, but like not really innocent. Am I going to do this right now? Okay. Looks good. How many characters might have scars? Uh... I don't think I've had a character recently not have any war paint or anything on. So I think this is gonna 
But, like, this gives her, like, a characteristic. Like, oh, where did she get those scars? Like, I don't know. She just looks good with them. But she's so innocent. Or is she? Or is she? There we go. There's some backstory right there. I feel like she looks too plain without it. But I feel like it doesn't fit her. You know, we're going to go with none. If she has some later, I'll later if she has some later if she needs them i will add them later okay very cute hair color don't know what i'm feeling uh what did i give her this brown we're gonna f5 just because i don't want to lose it but we're gonna look at the standard color <gasps> wait I don't like the eyebrows. <gasps> oh. Oh. <gasps> Completely white. How did you get that? Hold on. Okay. Huh. We're going to go with 12. Okay. So now we have to look for some eyebrows that will go black or dark, I should say. Ooh, <gasps> wait. Oh, girl. Look at these brows. Where are the ones I liked right here? Oh, crap. Oh, here they are. Oh, I love these. She looks great. Something's not right, though. I really liked 163. What if I, like... No. <laughs> it's just not gonna work. Ah. I feel like she looks like a bear. Like a little... A little bear. No, she looks kind of like a redhead. That That's not what I'm going for. This is cute. Hold it up. I think I'm going to go for that. Do I want to make her a little lighter? Do I want to make her darker? Ooh. I actually like that. I don't know what I did, but I like that. She looks really good. Okay. I need to save this. Wait, how does she look with those frick? What was that? 76? She still looks good with these eyebrows. I just feel like they look too fierce for her. So we need to go with these. Once again, saving. Uh, uh, cute new character char actor uh made on video i'll definitely remember who this is then okay so we got that hair extra knit don't even mess with that expression don't mess with anymore okay here we go we could give her funky things so you could give her black eyeliner, you could give her red, you can't really see any of this. Like if you were to do like, I don't even know. We're just gonna give her black. Okay, she looks good. Had a coughing attack. I'm back though. So you could give her white eyeshadow, ooh, white eyeshadow, black eyeshadow, I feel like she's too innocent, a red eyeshadow, uh, blue, purple, pink, red blue, green, yellow, orange, red. 
white. I like that. No, yes, no, yes. I'll do a little bit. Okay, I tint, I basically refer to this as a lower lash line eyeshadow. Uh, or should I do none? Shit. I need to do something. I'm gonna do white. Uh, cheek color, basically like blush or contour. See, you could definitely tell why people contour. Looks like chubby cheeks, looks slimmer. Um, if I go, what if I go like pink? Oh my god. I could give her like a, a slight contour look. I could give her like full on pink. I feel like she looks... That looks nice. Lip color, uh, she needs pink. Oh, <gasps> yes. Damn. It needs to be like to be like this but then we're gonna tone the opacity down okay how about um why, why am i not feeling this oh wait feeling it feeling it again okay definitely feeling this look um okay now we're on to makeup. Now, this type of makeup, this is where the overlays play a role. Makeup for basically like war paint for the face, body paint for the body, hand paint for the hands, foot paint for the feet. Uh, makeup, if I could get to it, for example, okay, that's up, woo. Sorry if you hear my computer in the background at this moment. It does not like when I switch through war paint really fast. Uh, so you could choose all these war paints. Th these are the spot ones. Oh, look at that. Looks awesome. Whoa, I like that. Wow. I love that one. I think one of my characters is using that one. Ooh. So yeah, these are gorgeous. Here's some ravens. I, okay, I almost, that looks so wrong. Ooh, wait. Ooh, I like this. Looks like she has like a veil for her eyes. Whoa, that's beautiful. Oh, wait, I think I might have to get this to real. Hold on. Damn, I don't really want to, though. Like, I, I just, I wanted her to be there. Yeah, I'm not going to give this to her. It is gorgeous, though. So, you can see all like this huge list which means you can basically put a war paint in every single slot and overlay it on top of each other uh so you have all these options for war paint uh body paint same thing it's just a little more limited to how many you can use at once same with hand and feet um let's say her nose is too big for me um you can come over here and deflate it and what that means is it'll take away and see how her nose actually got smaller over here see that 
So if you look from the side and you take it off, so if you click these, if they're not highlighted, that means you will basically erased what you just did. So watch her nose when I click these back on. So see, I made it smaller and you can see it over here too. Uh, I don't really like that though, so I'm going to take it off just because I feel like that doesn't look proportionate. Or if I feel like there's too much forehead edge going on here, I can deflate this a little. If I want to make her nose more pointy, you know, this is a great tool for that. I can actually like that. But I'm not going to keep it. Uh... One of my favorite noses to try to make is an upturned nose. I have that with two of, I should say three of my characters. The first two were my twins, Odessa and Ophelia. They have upturned noses, and I did that also to my wood elf character, Orchid. Her nose is my pride and joy, honestly. Like, I was so happy how it came out. Um, but... Yeah, I'm not going to keep that. So you could basically try to fix things that you're not happy with. All right. Well, I think she's done. Don't really have anything else to add to her. Uh, I hope this character creation was enough of a guide. Um, not really sure how to make a video like this. So I just did what I thought was right you know, giving you the mods I use and then ones I recommend if you don't like the ones I use and then putting all my mods to use and making a character. So this is the final result of what I came up with. Um, I think she turned out pretty good. So I'm definitely probably going to add her to my roster and she will make her appearance soon. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my character creation guide. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!